So in this podcast, we're going to take a look at the beginning of a parallel processing rig that I use to build up my synths with. Um, this is right about where we started last time with our three-layered synth. I added in a little extra salt, I like to call it, a little noise on the attack. All three piece parts together, kind of lame sounding, but they're all, uh, give, gives you an idea of how you can layer up your sound. So for the beginning of this parallel processing rig, we're going to need to split our signal into a few different bands. Well, three or four bands is a good place to start. Um, we will split this into four bands using three stereo imagers. Didn't mean to auto-route that. Very quickly we'll mess about with the cables and then we'll flip a few switches to finish this out here. Gonna need a mixer to drop that into. First channel is gonna be our lows, then we'll send our mids up, or mid lows then our mid highs and the highs. Fixing all of our buttons so things work correctly. There you can see our same synth has been spread across four different bands. And for clarity's sake, I like to do this in a lot of my patches. I will drop in a spider audio merger so that I can get a proper name on my mix channel. Just a little bit easier for me to keep track of things as they begin to get bigger and bigger. I'm just setting these bands real roughly um, to give you an example of how the crossover works. So we've got below whatever I left it there, 150 hertz for our low band, in between 150 and 650 for our low mids. See where I end up here, in between 650 and 1800, and then our highs, we'll just double check or everything higher than that. Now you might ask yourself, how can I be sure that this four band signal is the same as my dry signal, which is what we're hoping for, seeing as these stereo imagers should be fairly transparent. We'll need to drop in a spider audio merger splitter, uh, reconnect it to our stereo imager signal, and also drop in a connection to the last channel on our mixer before we exit our combinator. We'll name that bypass, and we'll mute the signal. Very important. Now you can hear our four band signal, and with just a quick solo of our bypass channel, we can get the dry signal. Double checking that it's exactly the same. Pretty easy. Um, you can see that we're not going much further in this tutorial, um, but it's a great jumping off point for parallel processing.